Hello there everybody and welcome back to the railway. Today I'm coming at you guys with three simple and easy ways to add realism to your modern railway. Number one is fencing. I find that adding fencing to my layout has greatly improved realism. I use this which is the Wheels Modern Pack uh, number SSM317 and it is palisade fencing. This is what it looks like it is on a sprue. It's essential for modern image railway scene and adding this has greatly improved the look and feel of my layout. You can find this on industrial compounds, you'll find it by the railway line. Yep, yeah, really essential, love it. Number two then is these, these are figures. This is an empty pack at the moment because they are on the layout. But uh, adding figures has absolutely transformed the model railway from an uninhabited town to a town to be proud of. I use Backman and Hornby figures as they don't need painting. Uh, I think I'm sure there are a few other brands that don't, but I'd recommend those two brands. Uh, but Model U 3D figures are great as well, but bearing in mind though that they do need painting. Uh, a pack I'd recommend is obviously this, which is 36049, and these are the trackside workers, and they are on the layout. Yep, love those. So the next is weathering. Now, a lot of professional modellers use professional weathering powders, paints and airbrushes and stuff, but that's fine. But if, like me, you can't bring yourself to bring a paintbrush to a £200 plus model, then uh, I have a solution which works great as well, and it is these. Now, it might sound crazy, but I actually use tea to weather my models. Uh, now, the way I get this weathering powder out of tea is by using a food presser, I blend some tea leaves into a fine powder. So these are a bit coarse, but... I tend to blend them a bit uh, a bit better than that. And um, now what I want to do after that is you want to place them in a receivable bag like this. This is just a Ziploc as the bag. And uh, seal. Now you want to shake it um, for about 10 seconds. Then open the bag at the top and you should get some dust all on the inside of it. Uh, and now what you want to do is by using a paintbrush. And I haven't got one quite to hand here. Uh, what you want to do is just run it around the inside of the top of the bag. And then uh, brush it down, downward streaks on the model and on the roof. Now, it's uh, perfect. And to that, we have got temporary weathering. And it looks the part as well. Really recommend using this because it saves you time. And it saves you money as well because you don't have to sort out all your paintbrushes and stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys have found this useful. Uh, I'll be back with more short videos like this that will uh, absolutely transform your layout if you follow the tips in them. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, bye for now. See you again very soon, guys.